trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but he doesn't love me. Trying to get him to love me, but
of the Father. She wanted to upset the eternal realms. My brothers, Yeshua is a stranger to the suffering, yet we are the ones who have suffered through the mother's transgressions. Suffered?
difficult. Several times I nearly gave myself away and then forced myself to return. Time dragged on. Finally, after long hours had passed and day had turned to night and then to day again, I was afraid and called out. The midwife bathed my forehead in cool water. Several times I saw the worried woman exchange glances. They were looking hard too. They had done all they could, and now I was alone. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The words of Yeshua from the cross echoed in my ears. I felt the Church. Not Peter, not 
haven't changed in a while. I hate change. I mean, come on. I'm blessed as a dear companion, according to Phillips, yet I'm painted as a prostitute? What did Pope Gregory's mother ever do to him to cause such a slanderous tongue? It was never written, you see, only rumored and assumed. There's no such word as harlot or prostitute referring to me in the Bible. Anyway, I'm here to clear up a message that I got sent along the way. It's not about Democrats and Republicans. Shiites and Sunnis, men and women, and gay and straight. It's about love and understanding, honesty, compassion, but most of all, forgiveness.